dad. This is my favorite story time. Under the bed in my secret fort, and I'm gonna read. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We're reading the with a double chin and a big belly and white hips and he was so excited yeah boss gold gold oh and he wampus couldn't help but look in his golden mirror oh did you notice anything cornelia the balcony what wampus my hair i just got it dyed gold it's beautiful golden hair oh yes wampus and i also noticed you have more of those horrible boils and warts on your faces. I just had a mag magical cosmetic procedure to remove these warts. I must be allergic to something. Scurvy, go in the garden and find me something magical. But those plants keep disappearing that, that help me to keep these warts and these boils off my face. Oh, you're definitely allergic to something, Wampus. But stick to the point. My sister's wedding in, is in three days and I want it stopped. I don't care if you poison her, put some poison in food or wine at the dress rehearsal. She's going to have a dress rehearsal and that's where you can poison her food, perhaps. Oh, don't you think that's so obvious to put poison in someone's drink or food? Yeah, boss, said Scurvy Turvy, the short bald creature who uh, is Wampus Wampus' assistant. Well, then why don't you think of something like Oh, giving her a poisonous flower. Yes, why don't you make it rain down flowers at the dress rehearsal? It rains down broken things all the time, so raining down flowers. Like a rose or something. And my sister loves pink roses. But make sure that poisonous rose lands in my sister's hands and not blazes. So I suggest you get a little magical potion. Perhaps a, a lock of her hair. Yes! Sounds good. I'll tell Scurvy to go get a long lock of her hair. Don't you worry. I'm a magical wizard and I can make any magic happen. Except for except for your face, right? Yeah, you must be allergic to something, said Cornelia. So just stop that wedding. I want it stopped, said Cornelia. And with that, she she left in a snap. So, Scurvy, yes. Go 
cut the cascade ivy plant. It's poisonous and will make make Jade fall into a deep, deep, deep sleep and never wake up. Unless, of course, someone finds the antidote. That old-fashioned kiss doesn't work these days. They must get the antidote and sense our garden in the back of the castle. Those plants grow and disappear and they hide. So no one can ever know when they are blooming and sprouting because they hide and they disappear. So it will take a long time to find the antidote. Yes, master! Yes, Walter! said Scurvy Turvy. So Scurvy Turvy hopped outside with his limp, he limped outside, limp, 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 and he went to the back garden, in the back garden there was a big giant maze, and he heard the crocodiles snapping and chomping in the moat around the castle. Ooh, that's where his little leg got bitten by a crocodile, and then he went to him. So Scurvy went to the garden and, and started grabbing herbs in the garden. Oh, which one is the cascade ivy plant? I forgot which one is the cascade ivy plant, the poisonous one. Hmm. A scurvy accidentally mixes a good herb, nettle rack, along with the poisonous plant, the cascade of ivy, and he hears the crocodiles chomping and munching. Oh, there's scurvy derby. I'd like to bite your other leg, said the alligator teasing from the moat. So Scurvy was so scared that he just put, he mixed in the good plant nettle rack with the cascaded ivy. And Wampus is so excited to reach his gold bars and magic that he is like, oh, there's the plant. That he doesn't look to see that the good herb nettle rack is mixed with the poisonous cascaded ivy. Oh, Scurvy, right this way, right this way. I do say, so my golden hair looks so... So good, I think I look like Caesar. Oh yes, Caesar, the ruler of Rome. Yeah, I wonder if he had golden hair like me. I think I'm the only golden haired boy around here. I can't wait to have gold. My bathroom will be lined and I'll be able to sit on a golden flush. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, yippee, yippee, yippee. Hocusy, pokusy, yes. Oh no, hocus pocus. I have my magical spell. Let me concentrate. Mmm, mmm. May it rain down flowers during the dress rehearsal. The game is the game. And may this rose let into the girl with the golden hair and make her life a deep, deep into a coma. It cannot be woken up. And let me find it. The edge of the right Oh, now we can just put that in my spell. Turvy Turvy. So that day, so that she finished, I've got to go find another uh, magical cosmetic procedure to get rid of these parts. Meanwhile, back at the at the uh, tavern where Jade was getting busy for the dress rehearsal, she was so excited and the squiggles were running about and Jane is blow drying, fuzzy, brown thick hair. Oh, my God, I'm so nice, oh, fuzzy. Oh, Fuzzy, yes, your hair looks so nice. Let me brush your hair. Oh, 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 that heat looks so good. Next, Molly was up. Come on, Chief Vince, so Jade, your turn. Uh, let me comb out those knots under here. Oh, 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 I've got so many knots, said Smiley. <laughs> As he smiled and showed a big gap in his tooth where there was no teeth. Oh, I got a tooth. You have lots of knots. Let me get out the floor. Um, Smiley. Oh, thanks, Jade. You're the nicest girl in the whole wide world. I'm so excited for your dress rehearsal tonight. Yes. And next was Aria, a beautiful blonde, swiggle, furry creature. Hi, Aria. Hi, Jade. Hi. Oh, thank you for doing Well, thank you for making my my wedding dress dinner rehearsal tonight really amazing. You guys decorated so beautiful with beautiful white tents and and pink ribbons and bows and a beautiful white linen on the table and beautiful flowers and beautiful food. Oh, I'm just so happy. I'm finally three days away from my wedding day to place. Oh, you're going to make the most beautiful bride, said Aria. Oh, you're going to make my, the most beautiful bride's day, said Jay to Aria. Oh, thank you. I'm so excited. I've been like trying to find the right bouquet for your, your own flowers. Oh, I'm so excited. And then Curtis McFly walked in. 
and he was getting a man ponytail on top. And he got a little trim on each side of the man ponytail, so it was long in the middle and short on each side. Oh, I feel like a Viking, said Curtis McFly. Oh, I'm so excited to have a man ponytail. This is so cool. When Zachary, the book smart, Swiggle came in with his thick glasses. Oh, and here, let me just put a little, um, a little oil on your hair. Look at that. Oh, gosh. You look so handsome, Zachary. Oh, gosh, Jake. Thank you so much for making me look good. Oh, wow. Let me look at all of you. Oh, Swiggle, you become the best friends to me, said Jake. I'm so excited that you're part of my wedding. I'm so excited for our dinner party tonight. And I hope you like all the food I picked out. I try to remember your favorite food and snacks and desserts. Blaze walk in. Wow, look at you, Swiggle. I can't believe it. You guys look beautiful. Oh, excuse me, Aria. And you girls look beautiful. Wow, look at Fuzzy's hair. It looks great. I almost didn't recognize you. You guys look so great. Oh, and you know what? Now it's time for Jade to have a hairdo. Oh, me? Yeah, surprise. Luigi Spaghettini is going to do your hair. Oh, oh, Menage. Oh, hello, beautiful Principessa, Principessa Jade. I'm going to make your hair look so beautiful and magnificent for your dress rehearsal party tonight. Here, let me put it up in a beautiful bun like a princess. Oh, thanks, Blaze and Swiggles. This is a nice present. Oh, this is great. So meanwhile, um, everyone gets ready and gets dressed for the big, beautiful dinner rehearsal outdoors on the cliffs overlooking the ocean. And it's a beautiful summer evening and all the guests are dressed in beautiful cocktail dresses and black black suits with black ties. Oh, everyone looks so great, said the Swiggle, said Aria. Oh, all the guys are dressed in, in tuxedos and black, black, uh, black tuxedo shirts and white shirts and black ties. They look so nice. And all the girls are wearing cocktail dresses and beautiful colors like pink and lilac and deep and green and um, orange and red and yellow, light yellow and light green and pastel colors. Oh, it's so pretty. And I love my beautiful seafoam green dress. Oh, and my hair done. I can't wait. So everyone was sitting and eating. And the first course was a delicious, delicious shrimp cocktail. And the, the servers passed out delicious shrimp cocktails and Chinese chicken salad and uh, cheese, cheese dips and carrot sticks and celery sticks. So there was all kind of delicious snacks. And there was chicken skewers with peanut sauce. These appetizers are so delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then the second course was truffled macaroni and cheese. What? Truffled macaroni and cheese? Said Smiley, showing off the gap between his teeth. He had two missing teeth and his front smile. He was always running, rubbing together two pennies, and that was why he's known as Pusa. And Fuzzy said, Oh, I like cheese. Yeah, I love truffled macaroni and cheese. Yum, yum, yum. And they started to pass out the fresh Ollie tuna and salmon and beautiful baked lemon chicken and tuna tartar and filet mignon. Oh, I love a good filet mignon, said Blaze. This is the best dinner party ever. And all the citizens in the front said, yes, to Blaze and Jay, your wedding will be in three days. And everyone was happy and drinking and eating and having a good time. Just as the servers and the caterers were about to deliver the delicious desserts, tiramisu, red velvet cupcakes, chocolate chip cookies, lemon cake, sponge cake, blueberry tarts, raspberry tarts, uh, chocolate flan, caramel flan, and baked apple pie, all of a sudden, there was crackle and lightning. Crack, crack, thunder, thunder. What's that? Is it going to rain down something? I hope it doesn't bring any oh, broken things. Don't worry, said Zachary. I've got umbrellas. I've got the still umbrellas. Just, just bring them out. It's not raining. Anything broken? No thumbtacks. No bottle caps, said Aria. Wait, what is that? Said Fuzzy. Something soft and colorful is coming from the sky. Yes, said Zachary. I do believe those are flowers. Uh, yes, yeah, said Fuzzy. Yes, yeah, said Smiley. There's roses. There's roses. There's roses. Oh, I love roses, said, said Jade. Oh, Blaze, 
did you do this for me? How did you make it? It rained down beautiful flowers and roses. And all the guests got up to pick roses falling from the ground. It was raining, raining beautiful pink tulips and daisies and roses, pink roses and red roses and yellow roses, all kind of beautiful color roses. Oh, Ariel said, oh, oh, this beautiful pink rose is coming. And the pink rose was aiming towards Jade. And it was going towards Jade, the poisonous road, and Aria grabbed it. Oh, I got a beautiful pink rose, said Aria. And she touched it, and she instantly started getting dizzy. Oh, I think I'm feeling dizzy. And all of the guests started picking up the pink roses and blue roses and flowers, and they're also getting sick and dizzy. And then Sue, everyone at the dinner party got really sick. And Blaze was even sick, and everyone was scratching and itching. Oh, what's going on? I'm very itchy, said, said Fuzzy. Me too, said Ariel. I'm very, very dizzy. I'm really itchy, said Blaze. And soon everyone went home, and they couldn't even finish their chocolate brownies. And, and Fuzzy collected a bunch of the plants, and he said, I'm going to make chocolate brownies for tonight's movie night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't wait to see um, our favorite movie, Charlie the Dolphin Adventures Going to Italy. That's the best ever. I love Charlie the Adventure Goes to Italy. So he started making chocolate brownies. And soon Aria fell. So when they went back to house, I don't feel good. She laid in bed. And Blaze says, I don't feel good. And soon everyone in the town that went to the dinner party, the postman, the butcher man, the baker man, the flower shop, the grocer, the baker, and even Luigi Spaghettini, the hairdresser, fell ill. Everyone except um, uh, Fuzzy, Fuzzy Thackeray, and Jade. They were all well. What's going on with everyone? Even Blaze, I don't feel good. I gotta lay down. Oh, my stomach, my stomach. And and Fuzzy kept making delicious brownies, and he ate it, and so did Sid Smiley. And even Jade had a bite because she was so nervous that everyone got sick. I don't understand it. And she always eats eats when she's nervous and upset. I, oh, this brownie is so good. It's delicious. The next day, everyone was sick in town that went to the party. And Blaze was in a deep sleep. So Jade, Thackeray, Smiley, and Fuzzy were wondering what happened. And they were like, Jade goes, wait a second. Something's very interesting. Those flowers fell down. And everyone picked them. And then that's when Aria and, and all the people that picked the flowers got sick. I didn't pick any flowers because I wanted them for the guests. And then Fuzzy picked some flowers. Fuzzy, what was in the brownie? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's just cocoa, flowers, eggs, vanilla, butter, and oh yeah, some of those herbs from the rain, the flower rain. The rain, it must have rained down poison. Oh my gosh, that could have been the cause of poison for the rain. It, oh gosh, so this smells of Cornelia, my sister, said Jane. Oh no, your sister? It, it also sounds like Wampus Rumpus because he is a sorcerer and maybe had something to do. Maybe she contacted Wampus Rumpus because he's the only one that could make magical rain with poison. Yeah, she doesn't know how to do that. Oh, dear. And my sister has plenty of gold for my father's castle. Maybe she bribed him. Oh, dear. Zachary, what do you think? Oh, my stomach. Here, take a bite of this brownie. That's the last of the brownies. So everyone that ate the brownies had the, the herb from the rain as well. So something must have happened that some of the stuff from the rain was um, healing and some of the uh, flowers were terrible. We have to find out what plant Fuzzy found in the rain and see if there's an antidote to save save Blaze and the, the rest of the swiggles and the townspeople. Oh, you think? You think? Uh, Curtis McCurry? Fuzzy and Smiley and Jade had to go find a solution to all the townspeople getting sick from her wedding. So, and then little Wampus Wampus was looking in the mirror. Oh, I look so handsome! As he tucked on his three braided beards on his chin. Don't you think, Scurvy? Yes, my master Wampus, said Scurvy Turvy. Yeah, yeah. It's a golden touch with those beautiful golden hair. I can't wait to get those 20 pounds of goals from Cornelia. I'll be able to mine. Maybe a 
sleep in a floor after I do the gold bathroom. Yes, I shouldn't just have my, my bathroom floor is gold. I should have my toilet seat gold. Oh, what about the stairs? Yes, I need the stairs done in the kitchen. <laughs> you golden flusher, said um, Scurvy Terry. Yes, it's my dream to turn three braided castles into a golden throne. One day I'll be realized no germs. I'll be off pure gold. I'll be able to to walk on golden floors. Yes. Oh. So all of a sudden the computer screen came on. Hey, Wombies, did you did you make sure that there's no going no wedding going to be in two days? Oh yes. That blaze dropped like cake. He's in a coma, and even some of those little swiggle creatures got sick too. No, I told you to stop the wedding and stop Jade. I told you not to do Blaze. He's a target. Oh, you just said to stop the wedding and I guarantee there'll be no wedding in two days because no one will be well enough to even stand. Oh, just make sure there's no wedding, you fool. You ruined it. Now, Jade, Jade is as well. Oh, I have to deal with my sister. And now I can't even like marry Blaze because you ruined it if he's in a golden state. Oh. Don't you notice anything, Cornelia? Look at my face. Oh, I see that you broke out again. I did not. Well, look at your face. I think, think, I think when you think of gold, your face breaks out. No, no, no. You must stop my sister, Mr. Blaze. Well, I did stop it. So I want my gold, and you need to come over here and give me my gold, or I will use my magical powers on you, Cornelia, and give you warts on your face. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, as long as you assure me that there's no wedding. Oh, so Cornelia snapped up. Oh, scurvy Terry. Perhaps I can do more than just stop Jade's wedding. I can stop Cornelia. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. I can. Her father's gold is so much, I could do every floor of the castle in gold. Don't you, Louise, Scurvy? Yes, Master. Why leave gold in an old, dusty basement? To go unnoticed. Who does that? Yes, most kings just leave their gold in the basement guarded where no one sees it. I'm gonna put gold everywhere. I should have my gold. So what plan should I do? Oh, once Cornelia gives me the gold, I can kidnap her and ransom her so her father gives us all his gold. Oh, good idea, Scurvy. Good idea, Wampus Rumpus. Of course, Scurvy Turvy. I know. I am great. I come up with ideas. That's why I'm Wampus Rumpus. Oh, yes, Master. That's why you're the master. Great idea. Do you want me to grab Cornelia with my, my hand claw machine? Yes, the hand claw machine. So when she comes here to give me my gold, only after she gives me my 20 bars of gold, then you use the hand claw machine and keep her until her father gives me a ransom of gold. King Balathar Mandeville will give me gold because he loves his precious daughter. So meanwhile, Jay, Jay, Smiley, and Fuzzy were sneaking towards Wampus Rumpus Castles. Now be careful, Fuzzy and Smiley. They have a moat around. Wampus Rumpus has a moat around his camp, his castle, with feet and it's full of alligators, and they've eaten many people. Go, says Fuzzy. Double gulp, says Curtis. Oh no, I don't like alligators. Yeah, they got big teeth and big mouths. So, Jay and Fuzzy and Smiley went to Wampus Rumpus Castles and they were in the backyard. Do you remember what plant it looked like? The plant, oh, let me see, said Fuzzy. I'm not very good with my memory, you know. Oh, come on. Come on, said Smiley. Let's just, just pick up any kind of plants before Wampus Rumpus notice we're in the backyard. And the very instant, Jade was like, Oh, we've got to find something to save our townspeople and blame and the swiggles, said Jade. It's all my fault. Oh, my sister will never leave me alone. I should maybe not marry a play so he could be alive. Oh, he's in a deep coma. We've got to find the antidote to rescue everyone. We'll find it. We'll find it, says Fuzzy. And then Jade went up the hill, and that's when Scurvy Turvy noticed the blonde rope. Oh, and he started jumping up. Oh, my master's going to be so happy. I'll be able to get this girl, too. So he grabs Jade. Oh, help, help, help. And brings her to Wampus Wampus. Oh, what do we have here? A blonde sister with golden hair, said Wampus Wampus. Oh, delightful. 
going to have made your greatest day. What have you done to my 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 wedding guest at the dinner party? Well, just a little thing called a snoozeville. I'll be in a deep coma until they find an antidote, which is very rare and very difficult to find since my plants, they're very magical and they do what they want. They pop up here and there and they come when they want. It's like just can't plant it. So sorry about that. And by the way, you're my prisoner in my house. No, no, no. Oh. And yes, and you can go in this room and listen to your sister Cornelia will be here. And oh yeah, 30 seconds, she's going to give me some gold. Yes, I hope you would like to watch this. Ding dong, ding dong. Oh, that's your sister now. Put a little rag over uh, Jane's mouth so she can't want her sister. I sure said Scarby Turby. Oh, hello, Wampus Bronkus and Cornelia. Here is your gold and you are sure that Blaze is knocked out and won't be able to wed my sister tomorrow? No, there will be no wedding. I told you, Cornelia. Here's my gold, said Wampus Rumpus. Here's your gold, said Cornelia. Great. Oh, gold, gold, gold. I love gold. I love gold. Oh, I love shiny gold. Let me lick it. Let me touch it. Oh, gold, gold, gold. I love you. I love you. Isn't it precious? Isn't it beautiful? Look how they shine. Look how heavy it is. It's so delightful. Oh, good gosh, she's like a begging dog, said Cornelia. Oh, and Cornelia, I have a surprise for you. What kind of surprise? Do you have Jade too? Yes, I have Jade. <gasps> you have Jade? Oh, delightful. Let me out of here. Cornelia's a trap. And just then, Scurvy Turkey, Turvy took his handcuffs, his arm handcuffs, and it was a machine, and it grabbed Cornelia and threw her in the dungeon. Yes, I've got both sisters. I've got both sisters. And your father will pay me all his gold. I will ransom you two girls to get gold from King Bowser and Mandeville. Ha ha! Ha, Scrubby Turby. Yes, boss. Secure those two girls. Get me out of here. How dare you, Sequoia? Get this machine off of me. Get me. Help, help, help. You're defenseless, my darling Cornelia. Until your father gives me the ransom of gold, you two girls will be in the dungeon locked up. I want my gold. I've got to line my palace with gold. So a note went out by Scurvy Turvy. Scurvy, send this message to the king that I have his daughters. Yes, boss. So the king read the note. Here, sire, said a knight. What is it, said King Balazar? An urgent letter. And King Balazar read the note. Dear King Balazar Mendeville, if you would like your daughters Cornelia and Jade back, you must give us the ransom of 1,000 gold bars. This is ridiculous, said King Balazar of Mandeville. Hurry! Round up my army of knights. My soldiers of 100,000 force will run over, race over to Bearded Free Bearded Castle and return my two girls to me. That pompous wampus, how dare he demand me to give gold and and ransom my two daughters. And so an army of soldiers and King Balasar Mandeville raced towards the castle and they went to the castle and meanwhile, Wampus Wampus was sitting and running around the castle. Wee wee, I'm going to remodel my castle with gold floors. La 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 la. And he didn't pay attention. And soon, Balasar's army of knights and soldiers surrounded the castle and they captured Scurvy Turvy and then they captured Wampus Wampus. Oh no! How did you get here? How dare you let go of me? Where is my daughter? said King Balazar. I will not tell you unless me you give me my gold, said Wampus Wampus as more zits and warts on his face popped up. Pop, 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 pop. Why don't you take care of those zits? And King Balazar took Cornelia and Jade and rescued them and they handcuffed Wampus Rumpus and gold cuffs and put him in the basement floor. No, no, no! And they found out that Wampus Rumpus was allergic to gold and those were causing his warts and blisters and on his face. And then uh, they found the magical antidote and restored Blaze and Jade and Blaze. Everyone in the whole village of Ravenstone recovered and Cornelia was locked up again and Wampus Wampus locked up. And, it, and then the wedding party was continued and Jade and Blaze were going to get married and all the circles recovered and everyone in the town's recovered and they all cheered and cheered for King Bells are rescuing his two daughters and having a beautiful day.